741 and the Cincinnati Pops is tackling a great show from the minds at Disney. It's Fantasia. And it runs this weekend at Music Hall. I gotta do it like this. I don't know. Conductor <laughs> John Morris Russell is here to tell us more. JMR, so good to see you. Thanks oh, for coming oh, in. Fantastic. It's great, great to be here. This is a this is a pretty big show to bite off, so it's, to speak. It's huge. Yeah. And uh, it, it's not just Fantasia, but it's Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. Oh wow. Oh. You know the original from 1940. You know with the Sorcerer's Apprentice mm -hmm. and Mickey Mouse and all the rest. And then Fantasia 2000, which of course came out in the year 2000. 2000. Oh. What's the name? I never saw that one. I've seen the cl the original. Well, and that's the thing. You know, uh, uh, my kids were, were were just coming of age mm -hmm. when Fantasia 2000 came about, and it it is the whole Fantasia that we know and love, but just taken so to they have a the whole whales level. and all that kind of thing. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Right. I thought that was and, the one. And uh, we're going to be seeing that uh, that one, which is uh, Respighi's uh, Alterino Respighi's Pines of Rome with uh, humpback whales, with this beautiful choreography. It's got Beethoven's Fifth Symphony with these uh, strange butterflies, uh, uh, and uh, the Firebird Suite of Stravinsky, which kind of wow. tells this beautiful sylvan tale. So how do you put this together? I mean, how do you decide which songs you're going to perform, which numbers? Well, or do uh, they have to give you permission for specific songs? Well, we've, we've got a selection from both the original Fantasia uh -huh. and Fantasia 2000, and you know, kind of a menu, and we put together, you know, my favorite hits. Your favorite. <laughs> well, you, are, you are the boss, so I, get you, I guess you get to do your favorite. Uh, and then, uh, the whole thing is, is that we have a huge screen above the orchestra that shows the the, the, the film the corresponding uh, and clips, then right? I've That's got a great. little click track with some uh, streamers and punches so that I can coordinate the music exactly to what's going on oh, on the wow. screen that has a certain uh, almo almost like a silent film feel to oh, it yeah. where, they, where they used yeah. to play the calliope along well, you know, well, with yeah, the movie or, you know? or, or really how, how film scoring is done nowadays yeah. and, you know I've been calling up all of my uh, uh, conducting buddies in Los Angeles you know to get all the little tips on on how to, to make sure that everything just lines up just right Right. Of course, you can't do it without having an exceptional orchestra. Which right. we, we so have that and, here. Uh, and, and here it is, you know, the opening of the Cincinnati pop season with our fantastic orchestra playing all these great orchestral classics plus Disney. It's a fantastic weekend of music making at uh, Music Hall. And it always seems like you guys are trying to do something just a little bit different, a mm -hmm. little tweak here, something different there. And that's got to make your musicians just sort of thrilled and keep them really invigorated. Oh, yeah. Time. Well, them and me, too. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> I, 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 here's Fantasia, you know, th this this piece that, you know, I, I, I remember from a kid, mm -hmm. and, you know, I've been growing up with it, and finally to be able to participate in it physically in music making. Uh, and, you know, the original conductor in 1940 was Leopold Stokowski. Oh, Leopold. Right. You know, with that stuff with his hands. <laughs> uh, uh, who was a mu uh, former music director of the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra uh, oh, uh, from, oh, the, from the teens. Oh, my and gosh. And James Levine conducted Fantasia 2000. James Levine is a, a hometown boy made good. So, uh, so it's got a real strong Cincinnati connection as well. Now, do you have time to tell us what, what else is coming up this season for the Pops? Uh, well, we've got Doc Severinsen who's going to be oh, here with us a little uh, later. Midtown Men mm -hmm. uh, is going to be here in November. And, of course, Brian Stokes Mitchell is going to be joining oh, us for our uh, big holiday spectacular. And Amy Grant's coming back, too. Oh, oh that's great. She always does a wonderful yeah. job, too. So a lot of fantastic things going on. This is a great concert for families this weekend. Mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday night, the Sunday matinee. Perfect. Kids, ten bucks. I saw the billboard for that yeah. and I went, "What? Ten bucks? That's yeah. fantastic!" Bad. And, and you still know, tickets to be had, then, oh, I guess. Uh, yes, uh, uh, it's selling very, very fast. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, especially for our kids, you know, this is a great time for those people who who haven't come to the orchestra before to bring their kids uh, because it'll turn them on uh, uh, to a, a lifelong love affair with music. Yeah, way to get How them in the not? door. See that Mickey Mouse? Hear the music? <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't beat that. Yeah. You betcha. Thank, Thank you, John. That. It's right. always a treat. Great oh, to see you. Love you. <laughs> Maestro, great to see you. <laughs>